I'm here today with my fellow educator, Valora Hammond, and I pulled her away in the middle of a project because it's so beautiful, I had to have her show you how she did it. Valora, can you show us and explain to us what you did here? I would love to. I'm almost embarrassed to have it since it's not finished, but it is such an awesome effect. The artistic software has this very unique feature that it will intertwine the letters of a monogram. It's absolutely beautiful. It makes the monogram pop from well, the fabric. I also think if you're doing a wedding monogram, you can actually show them that they're not only intertwining their lives, but they're intertwining their initials. Oh, that's Aww. so romantic. I know. All, All right. right, let's go to the computer and let me show you how you do this. Uh, this is going to be great. What we're going to do is when we open up our new screen, we're going to go next. And in this section here, we get a choice to do a new monogram. This is where we're going to go when we're going to create a monogram. We're going to go next. When we do this, it's going to open up a screen that's going to ask us what we want to do. I'm going to choose a width of six inches and a height of three, but I'm going to change that also to six. I want a fairly square monogram. Did you see that when I changed the width from six and the height, the proportional is clicked on? So because I want a square, I'm going to go back up there and tell it to go six by six. I'm going to type in my text, which is my daughter's initials. It's going to be ALH. The stretch I'm going to move up to 100% just because that's normal. The font you can use any font on your computer. I happen to like curls, and it gives you a lot of opportunity to allow you to intertwine the curly part of the monogram. So once we have that, I'm going to choose a template. Now, as I do the drop down, you will see we have all these template choices. And I believe the template I used for the frame that we showed you earlier was template number four because they're kind of stair-stepped down. But let's see what other ones we have. All right. There's so many choices. I don't know Aren't how you can pick. You know, it's so much fun. Uh, you can spend hours playing with this. But it was template number four that I had selected. So I'm going to select number four, frame. The frame is the part that goes around it. It really finishes off a monogram. So once you select that, I'm going to show you guys all the different frames. Now, Corners 8 is up there, but see, we can do boxes, we can do circles, we can do lace-like, little loop-de-loops, all sorts of choices around it. See all those corners and borders that we have? Those are all built into this program. I don't have to go any place to find these designs. They're already here. So let's go and let's stay with corner 8. The blue is when they're selected. So let's turn them all on. And now we're going to go ahead and go next. It shows me that there's going to be three colors in this design. I'm going to go ahead and do finish. And there we have it. Now you can see there's going to be a little bit of tweaking. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to enlarge these. Because I like these to be a statement. Isn't that a gorgeous design? That is beautiful. All right. So once we get there, we're just going to move it in. And actually, to make this easier, I'm just going to, since I had to resize it, I'm going to delete these others. And now I'm going to show you some really fun features on this. So once I get the points selected, there we go, I'm going to select this again. And then I'm going to go to my toolbars. And I'm going to pull, pull up my tool options. And they are going to be right underneath here. So once they're there, I'm going to tell it to duplicate. And then I'm going to tell it to mirror Y. So now I can bring this down here right underneath it. So I'm going to place this corner where I want it. I sometimes like to use the down arrow on my keyboard. I like that too. Sometimes I feel you have a little bit more control and precision of placement of design. Yes. When I hold down control and select both of them, I can use my alignment toolbar up here. So I'm going to align to the right. That makes sure that they're all lined up. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. Now once I got that, I'm going to click on those and I'm going to group them. I'm going to duplicate them. I'm going to mirror X them. And now I can move this design over to the other side. 
So once I have that, I'm going to hit Control again and grab those, and now I'm going to make them all go to the top. So see how quickly I've been able to create the frame around my monogram? That's great. You don't have to use your mouse and sit there and try to fool with all those corners. You got it. You got it. So now let's look at what we can do with the lettering on the inside. This is where the intertwining of the letters come in. As you can see, they're overlapping each other. Now I can go in and I can choose to actually do more editing. So I can make these any funky shapes I want to. So I can play around. Isn't this cool? This is so awesome. I mean, you not only have all of the fonts available in your computer, but then you can also manipulate them. I mean, yes. that's amazing. Yes. So once we get that sort of there, now I can determine how I want it to be overlapped. Notice how when I come in and I hover over this part, see how it turns blue? Mm -hmm. This is how I select whether it goes on top or on the bottom. Oh, that's great. Isn't that cool? That is really cool. Let's just go in and let's make this a little bit higher so that we get a little bit more definition there. Oh, let's see if we can't do something with the A. There we go. See, now I can make that one one way and that one the other way. That is absolutely yeah. beautiful. So, that's why you have this great definition with these uh -huh. letters. And so it's just really fun to really intertwine these letters together. I don't know how you have time to embroider these out. I would be on the computer playing with this all day. You know what? Those embroidery machines are so awesome. All you do is poke a start button and they're embroidering by themselves while I'm still over at the computer playing. So once we have all that done, I have a design that I want to stitch out. I can go to my embroidery machine, stitch them out. But you know what? I bet Let's see if I can make this a cut work. We've, we've played with cutting before. See, I could actually cut these initials out and make it an applique. That's really neat. Do you want to know how you can make the corners an applique? Well, you're going to show me, you? I am going to show you. You're going to select them, and then you're going to choose. We can choose an outline, and let's choose a dark brown outline. Once it's all outlined, let's go to File and do Export to the Crystal Cutter. And now we could actually cut this out of vinyl. We could cut it out of fabric. We could have a multimedia monogram here if we chose to. So you don't even have to have an embroidery machine to turn this into a beautiful piece of art. Not at all. That's what's so wonderful about this software. So once we get done with this, if you did want to send it to embroidery machine, all you'd have to do is file and save, and then you would save it to the appropriate location and the appropriate format for your embroidery machine. Oh my goodness, look at all those look, different embroidery machines. Look at machines all those. Listed. It absolutely will appeal to anybody with any brand of sewing machine because it will speak all sorts of different formats. That's wonderful. So no, you're, you're not limited to just one brand. This will work for any brand of embroidery machine. Any brand of embroidery machine. And it will also, I don't know, do you notice down here we've got quilt cat? Oh, that's it cool. It will also apply to the long arm quilters. Oh my goodness, you've just opened this up to a whole world of possibilities. You're only limited by your imagination. Well, Valora, I cannot thank you enough for stopping by today. Once again, you've shown me features of artistic software that I didn't even know existed. And I'm so excited now. I can't wait to get started on a project of my own. You know, thank you for having me. And artistic software is such an awesome program. It's so much more you can ever do with software. I'm anxious to get home and get this finished. Just thank you for having me. Well, I can't wait to see the finished project. So you'll have to stop by and show it you to me. You got it. Well, thank you for stopping by and thank you for joining us.